What's up guys, welcome to your 20th Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your first actual program. So finally, we're done testing stuff out. Uh, I taught you guys all the basics, taught you guys all you need to know. Now we're going to actually be building useful stuff. So the first thing I want to teach you guys is something called the if statement. Now what the if statement does is in plain terms, it checks if a test is true, a test or condition as they're called. And if it's true, it's going to execute a certain block of code. But if your test is false or it's not true, then it's not going to execute the code at all. And this is how in computer language you can get your computer to do a certain thing if a certain condition is met. But you can get to skip something if another condition is met or if it isn't met. So it's a lot easier just to show you guys and I'll talk to you guys through it if I do. So go ahead and open up um, your file new window and this will bring up your new um, uh, I don't know what it's called just as whatever program you use to write Python in and again remember you have to save it before you run it just a little reminder so once you got that up you're ready to start writing your actual programs so let me first um, get a variable so let's write something called tuna and you can set it to any, equal to anything you want I'm gonna set mine equal to fish and notice when you press enter in this, it doesn't automatically run because you're actually writing a real Python program right now, not just uh, goofing around. So next, I want to tell you guys about the if statement. Now again, the syntax for the if statement is simply if. And after you write if, you want to give Python a test. Now let's go ahead and give the only test we can to see if tuna is equal to fish. So let's go ahead and write tuna. And when you're testing, you use two equal signs instead of one. When you use one equal signs, it means you're having a variable and setting it to a value. And we're not getting a variable and setting it to value. We're just testing if it's the value right now. So let's test if that variable is equal to fish. Now, after your test, what you have to do in every condition is write a colon, not a semicolon, just a regular colon. Then once you're done with your test in your if statement, go ahead and press enter. Now under your if statement, here's what's going to happen. If this test is true, which it is, tuna is equal to fish, you're going to want to give it a piece of code to execute. So let's go ahead and give it a certain um, piece of code. Let's give it something real simple. Print a statement. Um, make it single quotes. Print, this is a fish, all right? So if tuna equals fish, which it does, we want you to print out, this is a fish all right. And another thing that I want you guys to take note of before I run this program, as you can see, this little piece of code is indented right here. Whenever you press enter after this sign, it automatically indents. And your indentation is your way of telling Python, all right, whenever we indent, this is the piece of code we want you to execute during our if statement. Anything that's not indented is completely different than the if statement and something else. And this is very important to Python, and you'll be seeing this a lot later on. So let me go ahead and run this block of code, and let me sh and uh, I'll talk you guys through after I do, I guess. So go ahead and press five. It's going to give you, I mean, F five, and it's going to give you that. And you're going to get this little statement. This is a fish, all right. So this statement was true, and it ran that block of code and printed that out. So as you can see, this is what it printed. And let me tell you guys one more time why this happened. We have a variable, tuna, and set it equal to fish. We wrote, all right, we're gonna give you a test. If tuna is equal to fish, we want you to do something. We want you to print out this statement. This is a fish, all right. But if it's not equal to fish, we don't want you to do anything at all. And let me show you guys what would happen if fish was something else. Say if tuna was equal to bass, what would you what would happen? So go ahead and press F5, save it, and as you can see, when it runs this time, nothing happens. So that's kind of um, the basics of the if statement. If your test is true, it's going to run this piece of code that's directly indented underneath it. If it's not true, it's going to say, "All right, I'm not running this. Just move on to the next line and skip it altogether." So again, to uh, summarize this, 
your if statement takes a piece or excuse me your if statement takes a test and tests it if the test is true it's going to execute the block of code under it and if it's not true it's not going to do anything at all so again this syntax is very important where you say if test colon and don't forget that colon and also don't forget to end that and once you remember those simple things you are ready to write basic if statements so this is uh, your very first intro to an actual program so um, in the next tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to do something else that's really cool so don't forget to watch out my next watch for my next tutorial um, so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time